everyone. Hope you all are safe and healthy. We all are bored at home due to this pandemic situation. But we should stay positive. Let our daily routine be not hampered by this situation, by this stressful environment. Do you know that hard work is your best friend? Do not focus on what you can't do, but always take a look at what you are capable of. Do not give up no matter. Always try one more time and eventually you will be successful. Succeeding in life is easy as long as you believe in yourself. So students, trust yourself and success will walk hand in hand with you. Thank you. Life is as good as you make it. With this profound thought, I, Vanessa of Grade 4 C, along with all my classmates, wish warm and cheerful morning to our respected principal ma'am, coordinator ma'am, teachers and my dear friends. Today we have got the golden opportunity to present an assembly on the topic Happiness, it's not about getting what you want. Before starting the assembly, let us join our hands and pray to the Almighty to keep showering His blessings on us and make us a happy person. People often think how to be happy. Let us tell you an interesting story and try to make you understand. A boy named Mula met an upset man walking along the road to the town. What's wrong? he asked. The man held up a tattered bag and wound all that I own in this world. Too bad, said Mula, and with that he snatched the bag from the man's hand and ran down the road with it. Having lost everything, the man burst into the tears and more miserable than before continued walking. Meanwhile, Mula quickly ran around the pen and placed the man's sack in the middle of the road where he would have to come upon it. The man saw his bag sitting on the road before him. He laughed with joy and shouted, My sack, I thought I would lost you. Watching through the bushes, Mula chuckled. Well, that's one way to make someone happy. Identify the happiness that is already there in your life, in the present, and to experience it for what is it? As the story shows, happiness is not a distant word somewhere in some bush. It is often perching right upon our own shoulder. Often we fail to recognize it unless it flies away. Or as in the above case is taken It is not how much you have, but how much we enjoy that also. There was a boy whose family was very wealthy. One day, his father took him on a trip to the country to show his son how poor people live. So they arrived to a farm of a very poor family as they considered. They spent their several days on their return. The father asked his son, did he like the trip? Oh, it was great, Dad. Did you notice how poor people live? Yeah, I did. Tell in more details about your impressions from the trip. Well, we have only one job they have. Four of them in our garden. There is a pool while they have a river that has not end. No end. We work for expensive land, but they have stars above their heads at night. We have the patio and 
but they grew it. We have high plans for protection of This story shows that the true wealth as well as happiness is not measured by material things. Love, friendship and freedom are far more valuable. Let us understand it more deeply. 
You are sitting here and the wall there in front of you is a board and you start walking towards that wall and you believe I will be happy when I reach that wall. Now begins the journey of walking towards that wall. If you think I will be happy when I reach that wall, it means I can be stressed while I am walking. I can get angry while I am walking if someone is in the way. They are my problem, my obstacle in my life. I can do anything to get them out because they are an obstacle in my happiness because they are standing in the way and I can create anxiety. I can create fear because I believe all this is natural. On the way and happiness is when I reach that goal. Just visualize yourself walking, creating stress, anxiety, fear, doubt, jealousy, anguish. That what if somebody else reaches before me and all this and then you finally reach the goal. Which means you have achieved the goal. What's going to be the state of being? It's already so disturbed and depleted. Can I really be happy after I reach that wall? There is one more very common situation that hampers our happiness. Let's talk about it. I am angry because of, I am upset because of, I am irritated because of, I am happy because of. Seems to be normal vocabulary. Even seems to be not so natural that obviously I am angry because someone did something. I am upset because something did not happen my way. But every time we were using this vocabulary, every time we were believing and this and saying this, we were thinking that what I am feeling inside is because of and when we said I am upset or angry because of something else outside. It meant then for me to be happy. Something outside had to be changed and this my thoughts, my feelings, my happiness completely depend on situations and people to be perfect and to be my will. Even if you get angry tomorrow, it's okay. Even if you get a little irritated, it's okay. But do not say I am angry because of just say I created it because that brings the power to you and that gives you the options next time. I'm not creating it. I created the hood. How long will it I take to heal myself? My choice, everything is in my hands. People outside, situations outside, response, my creation. I have the freedom to choose. Choose response, start choosing responses and choose happiness always. जन गण मन अधिनायक जय है भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा त्रावण उत्कल बंगा विंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाए सब जय गाता जन गण मंगल दायक जय है भारत भाग्य विधाता जय है जय है जय है जय 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 है